right, welcome back to Wolf Den Farm. Morning feeding time. A little late, 8.30ish. April 20th. Chickens are already let out. Just Jen got up and opened the door early this morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lots of worms out here from the rain. Rained last night a little bit. Hey, Hoppy Dink. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. All right. I don't think we need to do much with the chickens today. Water's good. We are going to fill the pig water. How are my boys? Oh, <laughs> look at my little boy. Look at you. <laughs> oh, it's, it's very... It's very muddy there. Okay. All right. All right. I'm coming in. Don't touch the fence. Don't touch the fence. Don't touch the fence. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. Okay. Let's come over here. Yeah. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody today? Good morning. Uh... Hey. Yeah. You missed it. It was behind you. Socks. Boop. Smudge. Boop. Blueberry. Boop. Blueberry. Okay. All right. What do we got? We got some apples. Oh, there's a chicken over there hanging out. I bite the apples and feed them to them. They ask they can eat the whole apple. They can't afford to feed them a bushel of apples every day. I got another one for you. Trying to sneak. Trying to sneak tasting some food. Where's like a couple days ago, if you've been watching the channel. Uh, he's better now. He's clearly running around through the mud. Hey, Mikey. Hey, Mikey. Better get that before somebody else does. Bloobs. Oh, Blueberry. I want to steal his food. Smudge. Don't steal his food, Smudge. You know, he makes noise when he gets it. And then everyone else immediately knows that he got something to eat. It doesn't make any sense. Stop making noise. Stop making noise. All right. Okay, let's get you guys some food. Well, you guys still got a little bit of food over there. You need some scratchy? So I paid scratchy text. That's my boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. Yeah. He leans against you. So when he does that, you have to like really lean against him because he's super strong. He's got the bum. Hi. How are you? How is my girl? How is my girl? How are you doing? She's like, I am a pregnant. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll give you scratchies. It's our human turtle. Oh, socks! I'm trying to give scratchies. I'm trying to give scratchy tags. That's scratchy tags. Socks is socks. I'm giving her scratchy tacks. Just because I'm giving her scratchy tacks doesn't mean you'll be all up in there. I know. He has no res no respect for our scratchy tack time. <laughs> They're going to spend most of their time inside till the sun comes out later. Should be sunny later. They said anyway. Alright, we got to fill your guys' little water bowls. So, here's what I'm going to do. Add some bleach. 
to their water. I'm gonna fill this, so. It's all the same water, sweetie. Just keep drinking the water. There we go. Those are really just for the little ones. It's been a very rainy season, huh? Yeah, very muddy in here. So I try and give the little guys some easy access to water. Not, they can jump up on the bowl. They can jump up. How you doing, bub? How's that leg doing? I see you're walking on it. That's good. That's good. Yeah, you're walking on it, though. That's good. In the deep mud, too, so you know he's feeling good because he wouldn't walk in this mud. He couldn't lift it and put it down there. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to make you lay down because if I keep scratching your tum-tum, you're going to lay down. See? Watch. Oh. Okay. Why don't you come over here? Over here. Oh, it's just, it's just me. It's just me, Bob. I was just moving him. He's whiny. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing, Mr. Whiny? <laughs> Socks is just pushing down on his grundle. Yeah. No, I'm not putting my hand all the way in your big chompy mouth. Okay, see? Yeah. <laughs> He does know when I'm holding food, not to bite my hand. Someday he might choose to. Why is your up, Snorcher? Yeah. See, he wants to lay down. <laughs> wants a tummy rub lay. Why are you biting my hand while I scratch your brother's tum tum? Socks, what are you doing in it? Socks, quit annoying her. Scared, scared Tyson. Tyson's like, oh, I'm gonna have to stand up and get out of the way if they start coming out here. Yeah, yeah, who's your good boy? Who's your good boy? Yeah, yeah, you're a good boy. Oh, just snark. You just snark, snark. Okay. Snark, snark. All right, Bob. I got lots of chores to do, but I can come spoil you again later. Don't step on her. She'll eat your face. She will eat your face, Socks. She will eat your face off. Yes. He's just like leaning against her and he's doing it because he can. It's just annoying her. Husband and wife thing going on there. He has like a mandatory bug them. There he goes. You know. All right. You guys point in the right direction? Relatively speaking. Okay. Couple quick scoops of food. Fill some water. Uh, we got some stuff to do. Building a greenhouse today. Building a greenhouse today. Going to change up our garden out a little bit. Uh, we decided that we are going to put artificial lighting and heating in the greenhouse this fall. Start using it year round. So I'm going to change the location. We're going to put it behind the garage. Which is on the north side. <laughs> so, you know. It gets less light, but if we're going to put artificial light in, it doesn't really matter. Socks, that's mostly for Tyson, you greedy fuck. Uh, swearing into my video. Sorry about that. YouTube will demote me. I'll clip it out. Maybe I can... I mean, I can audio dub over like just a small section of that. Yeah, oh boy, here we go. What is going on over there? 
Stop annoying her. She's trying to take a nap. Doesn't he know not to disturb a woman who's sleeping? He's young. He's only two. He doesn't know all the rules yet of marriage. Yo, you burp, burp, burp. Oh, I could probably put the the hoe away. He's using that to chip the ice out to open the door, but winter's officially over. Please, please don't come back. Uh, don't need that. Uh, this is the uh, this is the spider season. Spiders. I mean, that guy's he's kind of little and cute, but in a couple weeks he's not gonna be. You don't touch me, I don't kill you. That's the rule. It's a very steadfast rule. I will smush you out of existence. I don't think I won't. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I would do that. Talking, thinking about talking to you guys and having my hose on while I have the end off already. Kind of a dumb idea, kind of a stupid idea. the wand yet what are we doing what are we doing oh the ground has firmed up a little bit it doesn't look like it has in their pen but it's hard out here again which is good i put grass seed down too last week when it started raining so I know the yard looks terrible at the moment, but it will actually come back. It comes back every year when I do that. The free, free roam your chickens, you do have to grass your lawn. It's just, I mean, if you want to have a lawn. Um, because what happens is... Oh, let's get that in there. Hear the noise. Uh, they will just eat, eat, they will just dig up the ground as the snow melts. And what that means is like every day there's more snow that's gone. They just start digging in that little new hoop of area. And so because the house is over there, it kind of kind of goes out from that area. You can see they don't dig over here very much, but they started. So like there's a spot they started right here. So we just plant a little bit of extra seed. Oh, what a disaster. I still need to get that stuff. That's from gardening last year. The shipping containers. That was the other conversation Jen and I had last night. We're going to get two shipping containers. And then we're going to get one of those fancy canopy covers for them. Probably just the seed containers first. And then we have a list of, now we have an order of operations. We came up with a whole plan last night. You guys want to know about the plan? Here's the plan. We're going to get to see shipping containers. Oh, this is our little waterside chat. It's like a fireside chat. It's, you know, not as much socialism involved. Um, we're going to get the shipping containers. And we're going to move everything from the garage into the shipping containers, meaning the shelving that we have for like all my work stuff. And all the manufacturing stuff I have in there because I have a lathe, I have welders, I have all that stuff. So move that stuff out of the garage. Finish insulating the garage. We insulated the top room of the garage. Uh, that's the loft where our classroom is at the moment before the cabin's done. <clears throat> then we'll put new shelving in the garage. Then we're going to move some stuff out of the basement into the garage. We're going to put a mini split heater in the garage so that it is climate controlled. So that we can get a little bit of the basement back um, for our gym area. Our gym area kind of got crunched into this little corner slowly over time. Um, the, the last thing was the stainless table that we put downstairs for pig processing. Um, now with pig processing, we got another fridge and another deep freezer last year. It's just not enough space down there. So I think I'm going to put... The fridge 
and freezers in the garage eventually. I don't know how good of an idea that is. I feel like we won't use it as much if they're in the garage. So maybe I'll just reorganize them into the same wall in the basement and then put shelving above it. That's probably the smart thing to do. That's probably the smart thing to do. Especially with the deep freezers with the top lifting lid, you lose all the space above it. So we found these hanging shelves um, that you can mount to the rafters and then store stuff like lighter stuff like toilet paper, paper towels, you know, don't stack books up there, but pretty much anything else like winter, some winter supplies, like our boot, our boots, our winter boots, all that stuff. Look up in there. Look at them in there. They're all so cute just sleeping. It's, it's, it's very damp and you probably can't tell, but it's a little bit colder today. It was probably 40 this morning, 40 this morning and raining. Um, they don't like being outside when it's like that. It's almost time for another uh, bale of hay. Look at the chicken coming out. <laughs> yeah, I think to, uh, tomorrow morning we'll give you guys two more bales. Bale of hay, bale of straw. That's what I give them. They mix it in. That's what their bed in there is made of. It's probably three or four feet of straw and hay in there. Uh, when I first had just the breeders and we brought them in, I let them dig out the hut. They just dig, dug a big hole in there to sleep in in the summertime. That's what they do to get cooler. <clears throat> and as soon as it started turning to fall, I started just heaving hay and straw at them, like two bales a day for like two weeks. Uh, they do eat some of it, um, but they made, they bedded it down for the winter. And so now they have, and they fluff it up all the time. They're constantly in there turning it to keep it dry. So every day they, they will turn it multiple times uh, to keep it dry. Probably the top two feet or so. And as you can see, they are quite happy. They are quite happy. As is the chicken. <laughs> Stand on <up> there. <laughs> she just doesn't care. Oh, I see you bloobs. Is that, is that chicken walking on you? little guy sleeping they're so cute getting bigger they're not so little anymore again mikey's this mikey's this little pork sausage on little stubby legs walking around tyson's gotta start eating some more he's just he's growing he's eating enough to grow don't get me wrong he's he's just the low man on the totem pole now so he doesn't get as much food. It's kind of lazy too. Like he sleeps a lot during the day. And and while they're over there digging around all, all the rest of them, he could easily walk out <clears throat> into the in the pen and just eat right out of the trough with a however so his heart's content. He just doesn't, so it's like people, they're not all the same size. Um, obviously, you know, we're eventually gonna Butcher them and eat them. Uh, that's why we're doing this. So we hope that they all get big quick because it's uh, super expensive to feed them. And we spoil them quite a bit. But we're just doing it for our food. We're not doing it commercially, so. Oh boy. All right, we're gonna just go shut that off because it's full. Burp, burp. Oh, Hoppy Dink and Arsenio Hall over there. Wrigley barking at something. Who knows what he's barking at? Never know what he's barking at. He's always barking at something. Oh, he's stretching that leg out. Yeah, stretch the leg out, bub. That's good. His leg's never going to heal fully. I have no idea what he did to it. No idea what he did to it, but he's adapted. 
He has adapted. I do is put it on the ground for a second, let it drain. I like to let it drain a little bit just so that we don't drip all the water inside the shed. Um, I'm not obviously not worried about it freezing because it's a heated hose. I'm just worried about it I'm growing mold inside the thing, which is why every time you see me grab the hose, you see me take the end cap off of it. This is just an old nozzle we don't even use that I had in the garage. Just put it on here. Tighten it up. That way we know if someone does come in here and turn the water on, like I did earlier, because I'm dumb, I don't get water all over inside. This can hang. That little piece of tape is how far, how much hose you need to take out. Oh, you guys can't see it. This piece of tape right here. How much hose you need to take out to reach the big pig water bin. So, nice little pro tip there. If you have a hose that's super long to do your watering, put a piece of tape on it so you know that you don't have to take the whole hose out every time. Uh, mine's obviously in this bin, but I do recommend the hose reel holder because it keeps your hose cleaner. And it'll keep it from rotting faster off the ground and it being in the shed means it's not being uv degraded over time all right all right guys we gotta get the bowl there's a hoppy dink this <laughs> is it's his funny walk now that's how it walks if he hadn't hurt himself again no idea how that happened You guys stay right there. I'm just getting the empty bowl. All right. Well, the birds are out. So that's a good sign that the sun's going to come out soon. You're really quiet right before it rained last night. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, joining me on another feeding. Have a good, uh, have a good day. Thank you.